Before we even get started piping, we gotta prepare our canvas. And one of our favorite canvases is a layer cake. To prepare a classic layer cake, you wanna make sure you have a nice even top, which is called leveling, and nice even layers, which is called torting. There's a few different ways to do this, depending on the tools that you have and how comfortable you are with making level cuts with a knife. You can use a serrated knife on a level surface, a serrated knife on a turntable, or you can use a cake leveler. A dome typically forms on the top of the cake when you bake it, and it's not going to be even. But you can make a perfectly even surface by leveling it. This technique will help you ice and stack the layers because it's gonna be nice and even. First, I'm gonna show you how to level the cake on a flat surface. All you need is a serrated knife and a nice level hand. I'm starting out with a cooled cake and I'm gonna place my hand over the top of the dome just to make sure that the cake doesn't move around. I'm gonna put my, uh, my knife right here at the lowest part of the dome. So you can see on my cake that the dome isn't really level from side to side. It's a little bit higher on this side, a little bit lower on this side. But what I'm gonna do is look for the lowest point of the dome and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert my knife right at that point. And this is basically going to be my guide. I'm going to have my hand on the top of the cake and I am going to try and keep my knife very level. I'm gonna hold my elbow still here to try and get a nice level cut all the way through the dome. I'm taking it this very slow. We don't wanna take off very much of the cake because the goal is to maintain the height as you stack your layer cake. And I believe we got that through. So now I'm going to just lift up the little dome here and I'm going to slide my cake circle under there. This is a very, very dense cake. And set this dome aside, the little cake there. So don't worry about the leftover cake because somebody in the family will probably eat it or you can freeze it and make cake pops out of it later. So it looks like this is just a little bit higher on this side. So I'm gonna take off, try and take off just a little bit more of this edge of the cake. So it's a bit more level. I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you how to tort the cake on a level surface. We're gonna be using, for the most part, that same technique, but when you tort a cake, you're basically gonna be dividing it in half. You can do this a couple ways. You can either just using your eye score the halfway mark, or you could use a plastic ruler if you wanna get it really even. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to uh, creating a guide around the side of your cake using toothpicks, which might make this whole process a little bit simpler. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a toothpick in periodically all the way around the cake. It's approximately two and a half inches. And as I start slicing the knife through the cake, this will kind of help me have a, um, a better guide that my eye can actually pick up. Okay, so using basically the same method we did when we sliced off the dome, I'm going to put my hand over the top of the cake to steady it, and I'm going to work really hard at keeping this knife level. And once again, it kind of helps if you keep your elbow pretty close to your body. So if you're loose like this, if your elbow is out, you're, less, you're more likely to tilt the knife. So let's give this a try. slowly begin cutting through the layer and about at the halfway mark here I'm actually kind of turning the cake as I do this so that I can see that my knife is up, is in line with the toothpicks I'm going to take my other cake circle and you want to make sure that this layer does not does not like crack or split so I'm just lifting up the layer with a with the tip of my knife and I'm gonna slide the cake board right underneath there 
so that my layer comes off really nice and smoothly and it's safe, it won't break, and then you, all you have to do is just set it aside until you're ready to start stacking your cake. Now I'm going to show you how to level and tort the cake using a turntable, which is going to be slightly easier because the turntable is going to do a lot of the work for you. You just, you'll be able to smoothly turn this as you slice the knife through the cake. Just in case I haven't mentioned it, all of my cakes are sitting on a cake circle and that makes it really easy to transport onto my turntable and from my turntable to a cake plate or a cake stand. I'm also using a non-slip matte shelf liner piece here. I just cut it in a square big enough to set on top of the turntable so that as I begin turning the, the cake and, and slicing through it, it doesn't move. Works out really well. So again, I'm going to be using my serrated knife, and this time around I'm going to be turning the turntable as I slide the knife through, and it's going to really make it a lot easier. So I want to start at what I believe is the lowest point. There's a little bit of a lip around the cake on this side of the cake, and so I think I'm going to try and take off a little bit of that, and I'm going to begin sawing through it and slowly turning the turntable as I go. Remember, you don't want to take off too much cake because we want to maintain the height of our layer cake. That's what makes layer cake so pretty. And I think I'm all the way through it. Just gonna lift off the dome, put it here. So using the turntable was just like so much easier. I mean, you literally saw it was like slicing through butter here. I have a little bit of extra I think I'm gonna take off. Just like slicing right through it. I mean, I just held the knife still and turned the turntable and it did all the work for me. So this is all nice and level and now we're gonna tort it. I'm gonna take it off the turntable to prepare it for the torting and I'll put it back on in a minute. Again, I need to measure the sides to create a nice cutting guide and this time I'm not going to do the toothpicks I'm just going to go ahead and score it. While I'm using a ruler here to create my cutting guide I'm kind of also using my eye and trying to do it at about a halfway mark. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and score it a little bit here just to start so that when I put it on the turntable I will know where to begin. So my cake is scored and I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the turntable. And I'm going to insert the knife right there on my score line. So I'm going to be sawing through this layer. I actually made it all the way through. Cool. And once again, I'm going to lift the layer up with the tip of my knife. And just slide the cake board underneath and set it aside until we're ready to assemble. If you're not comfortable using a serrated knife or if you just can't get a nice level even cut, you're going to want to try to use a cake leveler because this is a really great little tool. So the cake leveler works really great because it has notches on the side and all of the notches are numbered so you can set your cutting blade at the perfect height for your cake which really really helps. It also has little feet which will, are level with the surface as you slice through the cake. Works really perfectly. Also, one other thing to note is that this blade is not sharp. I can actually just run my finger down it. It's just a wire. It's pretty heavy duty though, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. We're going to level and tort this cake using the cake leveler. Lucky me, my wire is already set at the appropriate height for leveling the top of my cake so I'm going to show you how to do this and in a minute I'll show you how to change it for the torting purpose. So as you can see it's going to go slice in right below the dome and all you have to do is just move it straight through. Perfect. We'll pick up that dome. And I'm getting an awful lot of cake here for next weekend's cake pops. And you can see I have a really nice level surface. 
So now I'm going to show you how to adjust the cake leveler for the halfway mark. The cake leveler actually has numbers and notches on both sides and you need to match them up to get an even cut. To start, I'm going to line up the wire to gauge the halfway mark on the side of my cake. It's actually set at a two right now because that's how I leveled the cake, but I believe it needs to be at a five. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the wire. And I am pressing it up against my body a little bit here to move the wire. Um, pressing it in helps to loosen up the wire a little bit so that it actually moves real smoothly for you. At a five, and that's perfect. My cake is gonna be nicely cut in half. I'm using a sawing motion, and I'm actually got, I have my hand on the top of the cake just to steady it so the cake doesn't move. And you just saw straight through the cake, and it's perfectly level. This time, I'm actually going to remove my layer so you can see how nice and level it actually is. Slide it right off onto my cake circle, and you can see how it's nice and stable. I don't have to worry about this layer breaking, and I can just set it aside. Now that you've seen the three different ways to actually level and tort a cake, serrated knife on a level surface, serrated knife using a turntable, and then also using the cake leveler, you can decide which one works best for you. Now that we're done leveling and torting the cakes, it's time to put together the layers. Be sure to watch the video on assembling and filling cakes.